Hey guys, Caleb Ray here. I'm gonna do a vlog. I'm back to school, sadly. And this is what I'm wearing. Got my backpack, bricks and sweater, my boots, cause it's supposed to be it's gonna rain today. It's gonna be in the 40s, so it's gonna be cold. I'm gonna leave the house. I look like an egg right now. But, yeah. I'm trying to find my class for chemistry, and it's Or lab class, I don't know, confusing, but... for Spanish 101 and yeah there's no one here so I'm just like chilling with my laptop Dude, it's freaking cold outside it's like 40 something degrees and this is all I was wearing is this and a long sleeve underneath <clears throat> no umbrella so first day of school it's okay it's gonna get worse but the four hour gap, because my class, my math class on Mondays and Wednesdays, Wednesdays end at 11.50, basically 12. <sighs> four hour gap, so my, this Spanish class doesn't start till four, and it's 3.24 right now, so I've been here for three hours already. And I'm here for another two because the class ends at 6.20, but I think we'll leave early today, I don't know. And then tomorrow, I think, I'm like in school till 6.15, but I don't have a big gap. It's like an hour and a half gap, so it's not bad. Or an hour, so not bad. But I can't do this. <laughs> like, I don't have a car, so I don't know where to go. So, that's that. It sucks. I wish they had sleeping pods here, because if they had sleeping pods, I'll be asleep, but they don't. So I keep looking that way because the door's that way, and I'm in the back because you know you girl gotta get the charger or that way, which is right next to me. So, but yeah, I'm so tired. I just want to go home and sleep. What's he gonna do? But yeah. I'm just text my boyfriend when to get me because I'm tired oh so I was starving and I was craving some Taco Bell so I got me some Taco Bell Postmates me some Taco Bell I think it'll be my first and last time doing that because like um Postmates expensive as hell like I don't know who has the money to always get Postmates I get people to Postmates them so like Next time I'll just wait, like I always do. So I'm in this echoey, loud classroom. That's why I'm like trying not to talk loud, cause like literally people could probably 
hear me if I talk even louder, and I don't even like talking loud anyway, so it doesn't even matter. So, I don't even, I'm only taking three classes, technically four, because my math class has a support. Um, I saw I'm a full-time student, but yeah, I'm just tired because I have nothing else to do. I haven't made any friends, by the way. I'm not really good at making friends at all. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I'm just tired. It's been a long day. It's cold. Um, it's like windy, rainy, wet. Like I can't. It's almost three thirty. No one's here still. I always gotta be the first one, but you know what? It's fine. Yeah, so that's basically it. I'm just waiting here. I like this white background. It's so chill and it's so bright in here. So like the lighting's great. Um, yeah, so I'm taking Spanish. <laughs> this should be great because like I don't like talking in front of people, but I need to learn how to speak Spanish for my program so you know your girl gotta be like fluent in other languages not just english and then somewhere i'll be doing sign language i'm gonna show you my classes what i have right now the classes i'm taking and i didn't bring my um regular camera because i don't know where the charger is This should be fun though. Hopefully I make some friends. Oh, I don't wanna be here. I'm tired. <laughs> what? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go down. Nice talking to you guys. See you tomorrow. Hi, so this day two of school. I think I just decided I'll just vlog the whole week. I'll post Sunday. So when you guys see this, it's Tuesday. But, you know, post it Sunday. But anyways, yeah, so I'm tired. I did not want to put lashes on today. Um, I'm wearing my glasses today, and I don't want to. And you guys could see why. And it's gonna rain again, so I'm wearing my Jack Daniel sweater with like a green thermal long sleeve and some jeans, socks, and then I'm wearing my boots again. So yeah, I just was the bit of cold. And I'm tired. I out my boyfriend and do laundry last night, so I'm really tired. <laughs> Guys, so day three of school, I had to drive because like my boyfriend didn't want to drive me, whatever. But he's gonna drive me for my next class, which is not until four. Parking sucks here. I'm all the way. I was trying to find parking like close to my class, which is like parking like E F somewhere around there. Anyways. So, I'm trying to find parking up and down these damn parking lots. The only parking left is fucking A or wherever else you could find parking. Which, my ass gotta walk. You can't see, but I have to walk. I'm hell pissed. Like, I don't even know what time it is. It's 9.31, so I got 30 minutes to walk up there, which won't take me long. But, it's a fucking walk. I gotta walk up the hill and... I'm out of shape, so I'm gonna be breathing and shit. I'm I'm hella irritated. Like this is some for.
be parking first of all just to get to glass also i'm wearing my glasses because this thing's going away and it spilled down and i need to keep wearing my glasses and i don't like wearing my glasses a lot so yeah then i have this nasty pimple right here like what the fuck anyways i'm gonna go get my ass to class because a bitch need to learn but i'll probably like catch up like after but i put my hood on hold on because my hair everywhere my oh, this is so dumb anyways see y'all my phone's getting wet for this but I'm walking to my car, my boyfriend's car. It's freaking raining. My ass had to walk hella far. It's raining. My phone's getting wet, so I'm like, I'll just see you guys in the car. In the car, okay. My, my plate glasses are fogging up. Hold on. Can I? All right, cool. My boyfriend's radio always stops. So yeah, it's raining. All right, my glasses aren't gonna unfog. So like, I'm going home. My hair's in a bun. It's cold. It's raining. All right, cool. That's cool too. Um, I'm about to leave to go home because you know it's freaking ridiculous. I can't even see behind me. Like, it's gonna be a disaster. I literally can't see behind me. This is gonna drive me insane right now. So, see y'all home. Just got a glance. It's hella dark. Like, what the hell? I gotta walk down this walkway and it's dark as f I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. It's so dark. Like, what the hell? I'm hearing all types of sounds. Did I miss the walkway? What the f***? Like, what's going on? It's really dark. Alright. Third day. Tomorrow's last. Fourth day of school of the week. Explain a lot more later. Oh, there's the walkway. Alright, cool. What's up, guys? So I'm home because it's Thursday and sorry it's dark. It's because it's raining outside. Hold on, let me turn on the light. It would be better. I'm chilling at home watching like old movies on Netflix and stuff. It was my first official week of like school and stuff. Just like an update. It's been raining for the past almost week now. So it's just been rainy, windy, cold type of weather you just want to stay home and stay in bed but anyways so yeah my first week was really good i'm only taking two classes i'm taking spanish and i am taking math i was originally in chemistry so intro to chemistry but when i went in there like i had no idea what the heck was like like because there was a lot of math in chem and my teacher was like, if you don't know any of this, because he was like, I'm not a math teacher, I'm a chemistry teacher, and I am not teaching math, so you guys need to know this stuff. And as soon as, like, the first, like, lecture, like, happened, and he was, like, talking to, about the PowerPoints and stuff, oh my gosh, I was just like, what the hell? I have no idea what this shit is. I'm dropping out. So I was just like, I emailed my teacher, I was like, I'm dropping out of your class. I dropped out of class, and I'm on two classes um but it's okay because um for now like i just do that and see what happens but yeah so monday was good long day because i had to stay there all day obviously you could tell from the videos and then tuesday was okay wednesday tuesday i didn't have to stay tuesday did i stay yeah i did stay all day basically i think i did no, I went home Tuesday, like, later on. And then Wednesday, I had school yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, okay, 
I'm trying to remember because it's like weird. So yeah, yesterday went to school, came back home, uh, took a nap because I have a four hour gap period. Mondays and Wednesdays I have a four hour gap period, so it's like weird. So I went home yesterday, took a nap, and then went back to school. And then, so this is the scary thing that happened. And for ladies and gentlemen, like, um, sorry, I don't know. I don't know why I said gentleman word. So for ladies and gentlemen, like especially in school, wherever you go, period, just be aware of your surroundings because yesterday I had the most like, it was weird because like I didn't realize how scary it was until after it had happened. But I was leaving my class. Of, of course, my boyfriend was there and everything. He was at the car already. So I had asked him where he was going to get me. So I had to just walk down this walkway towards the library which it's kind of dark there's only like so much light plus it was even darker because you know it's cloudy and it's already like around six o'clock it's already dark so anyways um we go or not we i go i leave the class i'm walking i already see like on like the side view i see someone walking down steps like across from me and i'm just like okay it doesn't bother me and then my sister called me so i was on the phone calling her walking down the walkway i turn on my flashlight and then she calls me so that I could see because it's really dark and I can't see the steps. So as I was walking down, I was on the phone. And then as soon as I got to closer to the car, my boyfriend gets out. And he was like, there was a guy following you. I was like, oh, I saw a guy like walking, but I didn't know he was following me. It's weird. He's like, do you know the guy? I was like, no, I don't know the guy. Like, I've never seen him before. So it was kind of creepy and like. As soon as my boyfriend, like, came out of the car, like, I guess the guy, like, left or whatever. So it was weird. And, like, now that I think about it, since, like, yesterday I've been thinking about it, it's so creepy because, like, I'm aware of my surroundings, but I didn't expect someone to go and follow me. And I don't know, it, like, they could have either been following me or they could have been, like, they parked in that same parking spot my boyfriend parked in or the person forgot something so he left. Like, I don't know. But I had to go to the cops about it today, which today's Thursday, and I had to just let them know, like, oh, hey, like, you know, I was fo I was being followed, and, like, it just kind of freaked me out, and I think about it, and, you know, I just want to, like, warn, let you guys know so that it doesn't happen to other people, you know, because it's dark. It gets dark later, like, around 536, so, and it's, there's not much light at the college, so it's, like, you know, you have security and, you know, I could call someone if that ever happens again. So that happened and, like, right now I feel a little more relief because, like, just trying to imagine, like, if my boyfriend wasn't there and I, like, that happened, like, that's scary. So just a warning to you guys, just be safe, be aware, always be aware. And for sure, I have to get me, like, a taser or, like, pepper spray or something because I need to keep myself protected. But, yeah, just happy my, my boyfriend was there because who knows what could have happened. Um, so, yeah, it's, a, it's a, just Thursday. I'm chilling, watching Netflix, relaxing because it's cold. And um, probably going to do some homework, maybe. Um, my boyfriend's at school, so... I'm alone. I'm left alone for six hours. <laughs> just kidding, but I'll see him later. But I'm probably just gonna rest today. Probably just gonna like um just chill. Maybe do some homework. I don't know. Play some video games. Just a chillax day because it is cold. I don't really feel like doing anything. Plus I don't have a car. Oh um, maybe like I'll just um update you guys since i'm already here so i don't have a car um no, the end of november i got into a car accident um i'll insert pictures whatever but <clears throat> no one was involved but like i was driving home from my parents house and my dad literally just he told me he's like drive safe they always tell me drive safe i always drive safe and i'm always aware of what's going on so i was driving home and like in the street that I was on, there's construction work going on. And in my lanes, there's two lanes, but the opposite lane or the the second lane is used for the opposite lane because they're doing construction work on the other lane. If that makes sense, I don't know. 
Hey guys, so here's a map of where my accident happened so it makes it easier to show you but right here in this area this is basically where my accident happened. Um, it's a two way road so from the right side that's one way, from the left side it's the other way, right there in the corner and my computer kind of just messed up and blurred out everything so like don't worry about it but in that corner right there the concrete platform that's where my accident happened and I'm still trying to figure out why it's so blurry and so give me one second um if I okay it clears out so in that corner right there that's that concrete part I crashed into so that's where my car hit um I missed the stop sign and the curb whatever um but I'm gonna back out and I'll show you the full area of how my accident happened and what was going on so <clears throat> like I said it's a two-way road the middle there were cones right there the right lane is going one direction and the other lane is going the other direction and I had nowhere to go you know you had to pull to the right I was the ambulance came from that side right there and I was in that between that entrance way and I tried to go and I skidded and my brake wouldn't go so I skidded and hit the concrete and basically yeah so I don't have much to say I know it's very confusing but this is just how the map outlook is even though it doesn't show construction work on it there was construction on that left lane in between the island so there was no no way of going anywhere and there were cones in this right lane in the lines so hopefully it's a better understanding for you guys to kind of visualize how it happened so yeah um so there's only two lanes for me well technically one lane for me and there's cones in the middle so i was driving home and it's it was near a hospital and like some apartments whatever and um this ambulance just came up all of a sudden behind me turn on their lights and alarms like I don't know where to go I know you're supposed to pull safely to the right and I tried to pull into this entrance of a um, entrance of a parking lot to the hospital and when I broke so I'm trying to think so when I broke my car didn't break all the way I guess you could say and it hit a concrete platform, which a concrete platform is like one of those like electrical boxes on top of a concrete. So I didn't hit the electrical part. I just hit the concrete, which then messed up the whole front parts of my car. So everything was just not in place. So when I tried to back it up, my whole car would just shake. So then I was freaking out because like, I don't know what to do in that situation. Like. It didn't involve anyone, thank God, but like I was freaked out, and not only that, it freaked me out more that my airbags didn't come on, which I'm happy about. Sorry, my this light, there's a light here that just turns off, and I think Casper the ghost left. But anyways, so yeah, like the airbags didn't go off. I I think it didn't hit a certain point to where the airbags would have been turned on, but also I mean that's okay, but still. Like, it just freaked me out because I was just driving and, like, it had actually just rained, too, by the way. Um, so, yeah, that happened. It took freaking hours for the cop to come because, I mean, I wasn't hurt or anything, just shooken up because uh, it was a it was a hard crash and it scared me. So, then, after hours, we had a tow truck come who wasn't, like... I don't think under my insurance or anything, but he was an asshole. Like, if if my boyfriend and his dad and my dad weren't there, I probably would have just went for it. But when we were talking about, like, the payments and stuff, he just, he was an asshole about it for no reason. He wanted to be rude. So my boyfriend's dad was like, okay, then just leave asshole. Like, and then he drove off all pissed off. But it's like, don't come out here with an attitude. Like, I just got an accident and you want to give a shit for no reason. So then another tow truck came after like an hour and a half or so after I had just called my insurance. And, you know, he was a really nice dude and everything and he made everything so much easier than it should have been. So that happened and then my car got towed like a few days after that. 
and then they told me about what's wrong with it, what's, you know, and the total, and then when they told me that, you know, my car's totaled, there was nothing they could do, so I went back to get whatever rest of the stuff I had in my car, and um, one of the guys explained to me, like, more in depth of what, like, what happened to my car, like, there was a hole in my motor, so that was going to cost a lot, like, the radiator, the transmission, everything was just misplaced. So it was a pretty hard hit. So, I mean, now I don't have a car. My boyfriend's my driver, and I use his car sometimes. So that's that. And plus, I'm going to school and work, so it's kind of hard. Not doing too much things, so that's it. But still, it's kind of hard because, like, I don't have a car, and I always got to rely on someone to drive me or go somewhere. But I'm not that I'm not that type of busy person. So I only have school and work and I go home right away because your girl got to save money for another car now. So that's that. So I'm sad. I miss my car so much because I miss like, you know, not having to rely on someone to take me anywhere. But I mean, it's OK. I could save money now. I'm not paying so much money a month for car and car insurance. So that's that. That's my little update. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully the, the lighting isn't that bad. Oh, sleepy. And I kept looking at my phone because I was getting notifications. There was a weird sound. I was getting notifications from my boyfriend. He messaged me, so I should go.